I heard this recently from a very good friend and napansin ko to tama naman yung sinasabi niya eh. A lot of the big corporations, 10-15 years, they're at the same level. They're not growing higher than GDP growth rate. So why? You should be making more money than the national economy because you're a specialized living, breathing organism selling so many popular products. So dapat ang growth rate mo na binibigay mo sa retail stockholders mo, mas mataas naman siguro sa GDP. Hi everyone, I'm Savi Duplito. I am inviting you to this year's very, very special Icon 2023 10th Anniversary Edition. Don't miss this because there are a lot of things that we're going to talk about. So many fun stuff to discuss and then you get a chance to take a picture with your favorite idols. See you there! I feel that wealth is really a function of how much money you put in your mm. savings and investments rather than just focusing on how much growth you will make in your portfolio. So I'd rather earn 10% a year with a larger investment base than earning 100% a year with a smaller investment base. Kasi... I know a lot of chairmen of big, big corporations. Their names and tickers you see in ANC. They oh. don't have salary. Gusto ko rin patunayan na binabasa ko mga post mo. Nakita <laughs> post ka about MPI, about yung delisting ng eh, delisting na MPI and, and parang there was there was a lot of discussion about it. Benta na sa open market or tanggapin mo na lang yung tender offer 4.63 yeah. and then uh, there was uh, there, there was an option also na okay lang, it's a good company naman. If it delist, I'm still a part yeah. of a private company. And then nakita ko yung comment mo, you said something very interesting. Mm. Oh, magpapadelist na lang ako and I'll still hold my shares. Uh, So I, I want to know the the what, what was the what's the mentality uh, behind that kasi yun yung topic ng video na to Salvi de Pito MPI the listing <laughs> <laughs> Sira ka talaga Nagbabasa talaga ako nung no, nagbabasa ako ako yung number one follower mo <laughs> Oh thank you I appreciate you Ikaw talagang promotor ng lahat ng ginagawa ko So a lot of people said ayaw nila kasi sobrang baba Syempre you heard also Manny Pangilinan say eh kasalanan yan ang market <laughs> That's how they value us. So, syempre, ano magagawa ko? You've always valued us, undervalued talaga sila consistently through the years. So, ano magagawa ko? When I sell the company, I want to go private. That's the price that you get for undervaluing MPI. Can, 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 I, can, can I say this also before you answer? You, you brought up something interesting. People always look at the money pangilinan side. Eh. Pero what they don't understand is there's also the other side of the equation. Yung buyer. Yung buyer, gusto niya baratin as much as they can also. They want to buy it at the cheapest price Pa- possi- possible also eh. So parang uh, whatever price that's there, yun na yung napag- ag- kasi si- kung si Manny pag- pag- they want to set it at the highest uh, price possible. Pero yung problem dun is they can set whatever price kung di naman bilhin uh, di- yes. wala, rin, wala, rin, wala rin agreement. So I, I think it's it's two sides also of, of the equation as well. So yun, yun, lang, yun lang para sa akin na yun yung presyo yung gustong bilhin ng, at the price that siguro whatever analysis they have for it, that's the price that they wanted as well. Masama yun in the sense na kawawa yung retail. Hmm. Hmm. ba? Diba? Kasi wala silang choice kundi bilhin, uh, kundi ibenta at the price that the big investor would like to buy it for. But hindi naman nagkakalayo kasi dun sa existing pricing. Hmm. ba? Diba? May konting premium pa nga. Sobrang sama nang dating nun kung sobrang baba ng presyo tapos mataas yung price in the market now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So the, Pero, it's sold higher. Yeah. It's higher pa than the market. So may punto rin naman si Manny Pingalinan. May punto ka din kasi yun yung magiging outcome nito. Mabibenta at a, at a low price and lugi yung mga retail investors because it's truly undervalued. Yung interesting lang daw, yung term na lugi kasi it's also depending on the entry point. The, That's uh, right. It was seven a couple of years ago, for sure. For those who entered uh, somewhere 2018, uh, it it's lower. Pero may context din naman na 2020, 2021, it was sub-4. Yeah. They, they can sell anywhere and still be at a profit. So you're, we're talking about this. When you say you're, you're, they're selling it low, we're talking about uh, from the all-time highs or at least from the seven uh, peso price range that they got a couple of years ago. No. When I say... They'll get. They'll be able to sell it low. I compare it to 
the valuation of where it's supposed to be. So, kung ano yung value nung cash flow and the if you use DCF, right? You discount cash flow in the next 10 to 20 years. It should be at 9 or 10. So, if you compare mo yung 9 or 10 dun sa price kung kailan i-delist. Ang layo naman talaga. You're not getting the right amount of money for the value that it contains. So, in that sense, lugi ka. Whether ang entry point mo is 7 or 4. Got it. Tsaka, tsaka interesting doon, nung 2019, there, there was a time that they were planning to list the hospital alone and yung, yung hospital massive valuations yun. So, parang at, at the price that they're selling it right now, uh, parang ang layo, an, an, medyo, medyo malayo nga. So, pero which which leads me to the question, what's the strategy behind that na magpapaprivate na lang ako and then parang what will be your exit also later? Kung ako retail investor? Yeah, yeah. Binibase ko lang ito sa comment mo. May na-comment ka na magpapaprivate na lang ako. Yun yung option. There are three options kasi. You sell sa tender yeah. offer yeah. Uh, or you sell it in the market for whatever price you can get it for kung kaya mo. And then, hintayin mo mag-delist and then you remain a stockholder of a private corporation. So, those are three options that you can take. And obviously, if you look at the the sentiment no, of napakaraming shareholders who are very noisy about it. Everywhere, Reddit, everywhere, Facebook, you go and YouTube, ganyan. Ang dami talagang upset sa delisting price. So, magpapa, they'll keep na lang daw the shares. Okay, okay. And become the shareholder of the private corporation. So, you know, MPI is not going anywhere. It will continue to operate. Only now, you can't sell it easily in the market. Because mm-hmm. it will be privately held. But mm-hmm. you'll still get the dividends. Mm-hmm. You'll still get invited to the stockholders' meeting. Would you take that route? Na, no, or, or... It will be difficult to exit. Since I'm a value investor, exit route is very important to me. Mm-hmm. So, I might not take the ano, that the third option. Tsaka naisip ko, looking at it from their perspective, kung nag-IPO ka kasi, you got the funds already, nagamit mo na ilang beses, over and over yun, uh, to be able to make your comment. Tapos, if you're a private company, you're less subjected to the volatility kung may, kung may issues or ano, hindi, wala nang hmm. fluctuations dun sa, dun, dun sa price also. So, as, as someone who has been in the market, does this parang um, enhance your love for the market? Or parang, or flip side naman na parang, dahil dito parang, parang I'm disenfranchised na lang, parang bak- bakit, bakit ganito, crypto na lang, parang ganito. <laughs> Ito pala agenda niya. Honestly, honestly, oh, ang hirap mo naman mag mga katanong mo, Marvin, ang hirap ah. Honestly, lately, I've been thinking, um, because I've been in, in discussions with some of my friends also na, if you're really investing in the Philippine stock market, it's not fundamentals that really drive the price. I heard this recently from a very good friend and napansin ko to tama naman yung sinasabi niya eh. A lot of the big corporations, 10, 15 years, they're at the same level. They're not growing higher than GDP growth rates. Hmm. So why? You should be making more money than the national economy because you're a specialized living, breathing organism selling so many popular products. So, dapat ang growth rate mo na binibigay mo sa retail stockholders mo, mas mataas naman siguro sa GDP. So, yeah. obviously, if you look at, that, look at it that way, hindi talaga fundamentals yung nag-drive ng value. A lot of the money don't go to shareholders. Shareholder value is very low. The families that hold these organizations, siniraan yung stock market. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nakita ko pa naman po are, mga picture ka sa PSE. Uh-huh. <laughs> are the families are getting wealthier, the lowest rungs of society, the ones who have to live on 100 pesos a day, they're getting bigger. So, what's the deal? Kaya sometimes I really tell people mag-index fund na lang kayo because you know, 10 years in the market, yung bin- yung binili mo walang kinita. But sometimes, if you also know how to do fundamentals and kung nakikinig ka kay Marvin Guillermo at alam mo how to use the charts so that you know when to invest exactly, you might get some earnings. no? Or you can go to the U.S. stock market to get 
more money for your income. Yun yung na-realize ko also eh, na um, I've been, uh, yung parang trigger ko for fundamental investing is when I don't like the company anymore, hmm. sell. Pero looking at it, basing it also on what you said, um, you you didn't make, people that, that really didn't make as much also probably came in nung all-time high nung 2013, nag-7,400 to nag-investment rating upgrade tayo. Pero, tapos nag-all-time high tayo ng 8,900 nung 2018. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is, is it possible also na hindi masyadong umakyat na primarily because malaki na rin kasi talaga yung inakyat niya. It was 1,800 nung 2009 to 7,400 na it was relative, relatively overheated. Tapos yung PEs natin nung 2013, Sobrang, sobrang taas, one of the most expensive in a region. So parang what we're seeing right now is just an effect of it uh, parang rebalancing itself also from the higher price multiples that we had bef- before. And which which leads me to my point na I I think kahit long-term investor, when there's a sense already kahit maganda yung company pero overheated na yung market, baka it's it's time also to take money off the table also or na para at least you get to you get to appreciate uh, whatever earnings or whatever capital appreciation that you had as well. So anyways. Me, because when I invest, it's not so much about how the market is doing, hmm. but how the company is doing. And if you if there's a very good company, a lot of good companies, and then in 10 years, you didn't go anywhere, you really have to think twice or thrice about what you're doing. That's a huge factor when you came in. But if, again, you also have to think hard if in 10 years, wala pang nangyayari.